Thanks for stopping by to see what I'm up to today. Today we are again out at beautiful Lake Norman State Park. The weather's starting to cool off here in North Carolina and we're gonna do a video about the QMX. I've done a mod on the QMX that I found on the internet. If you don't like Touch King, this video ain't for you. Head on over and watch one of my other captivating videos. I need the watch time hours. They're gone. The thing about Touch King is it's a little finicky sometimes, whether it's RF coming down onto the case of the radio or sweaty fingers like I have sometimes. You'll see in the example that I provide, sometimes it can be a little finicky, a little touchy, and people don't always like it. But here's the thing. If you put Touch King on your QMX, whether you use a traditional paddle or not, this still works, you will always have a spare paddle with you. Here's one view of the lake through the trees. Here I'm using the K6 ARK 10 watt up onto the K8 MRD Explore Mast held by some bungee thingies. Adam K6RK developed a tiny, tiny, I think it's less than an inch by an inch, but anyway, it's really tiny, board for Touch King that is placed inside the body, tight fitting already of the QMX. If you head on over to printables, following the URL provided below, you will find the PDF and the STL files provided by N6MTB. Mike Tango Bravo. STL, those are the 3D printer files. N6MTB developed a method for getting capacitive elements on the board with stainless steel acorn nuts and a 3D printed part 